Hello, I'm Dr. Alicia Roberts, and I have been a nurse educator for over 10 years. I've been a nurse for 20 years, and um, I teach currently in the Accelerated Program at the University of Texas at Austin. The educator piece and also being in the classroom, it marries well with each other. So there's not a time where you really separate those things. All of the skills that you learned in nursing when you were actually a nurse, you get to implement those with the students and you get to implement them in a different way. You get to show your passion, you get to show your expertise, um, and the students really appreciate your experience. One of the major challenges that I have encountered is meeting the needs of diverse learners. So when we're in the classroom or we're in the clinical setting, getting to know your students and helping them to feel comfortable uh, with you as the educator. I think that's a really big deal. And if you think about um, the time frame that we have our students, we're often not with them for a long period of time. And so just trying to get to know them, to feel comfortable, comfortable, for them to feel comfortable with um, sharing, you know, how they feel about certain tasks, certain disease processes, what they know, that's often uh, challenging because of how they learn. I think being an educator has forced me to really stay a lifelong learner. Um, meaning that I constantly read, I constantly think about what are best practices for something that I'm trying to implement. I'm trying to make sure that the students understand uh, what I'm trying to teach them and you know, feel confident when they go into the clinical setting. In simulation, um, one of the things that I think makes it a little bit different is that the stakes are a little bit lower. And when I say that, I say that if a student makes an error or a mistake at the bedside, that can of often be um, devastating to the student, to the patient. However, in simulation, the students have a chance to make mistakes. We actually want them to make mistakes during simulation. We want to, them to think through the process um, in simulation, we have a chance to stop them, to stop the sim and actually redo it. Um, or we can actually continue, let them continue along in that process or that bad behavior or the negative behavior. And then we have a, a moment at the end where we debrief. And in the debrief, um, that's where a lot of the learning takes place. During that debriefing time, students often find themselves uh, you know, answering, you know, the things or uh, that they made a mistake in and kind of correcting it from their own perspective, even before the facilitator, the faculty member. Individuals, nurses that want to teach, I say first, come in with an open mind. Bring your personality, bring your enthusiasm, bring your passion to what you do. And so coming in, commit to lifelong learning. You know, tell yourself, I'm gonna learn something new today. And I promise you, you will. Every semester, my students force me, <laughs> whether I want to or not sometimes, they force me to get into the literature. They force me to look at something in a different way. Um, they force me to embrace technology um, in a different way. And so I say to those thinking about the profession, um, maybe like, I don't know if this is for me. I would say bring your attitude, bring that enthusiasm and bring that passion into the clinical environment, into the setting, and you'll be amazed um, how the students appreciate it and then how you'll have just such an enriching experience in what you do you have a chance to leave that impact. Whether it's something you said, how you said it, uh, students don't forget. One of the things that I like to tell the students is, this is your shine time. This is your time where you get to show me how much you've learned and you get to show me how excited you are about you know, the skills that you're able to perform. So don't look at it as a test, right? Test has such a negative connotation to it, but look at it as a opportunity for you to actually shine.